in today's tutorial we will learn how to deal with excel text or in other word text manipulation or substring these are the most common available function which are used for excel substring our first function is len with length we can find out how many characters in our string let's see for ourselves equal len then the reference where is our string close the parenthesis press enter so we have 23 characters in this string let's see in this one equal to len 9 in here our next function is find find will search for the character you need then return the position of that character let's do it equal to find then the character you want to look for comma then the cell then close the parenthesis press enter we search for the hyphen so the hyphen is at the fifth position in this string don't worry I will show you that how you can find out the position of the second one and third one let's find the position of at the rate equal to find the character you want to find we want at the rate then comma select the cell close the parenthesis press ok so at the rate is at the 14th position by using left function you will start to get the string from the left side it will be easier if we do ourselves let's see equal to left then the text then comma then how many characters you want we want four characters four so from left side it's giving us four characters if we change it to five then the hyphen will be included the right function is same as left function equal to right but it will start from the right side select the text comma how many you want four so four character from the right side e r f j let's see how can we get the name portion of our email id the battle angel 7 for that let's use the left function then the text then we need to put that how many characters we need for that we need to know the position of the at the rate let's find the at the rate position find at the rate select the text field close parenthesis it will return the position of at the rate so you need to reduce the position by one we need to have the position until seven let's close the parenthesis press enter you see it returns battle angel 7 why you use the left because the name is starting from the left so it's easier to use the left function our next function is mid mid is the most important and it is hugely used in everywhere so how does it work with mid you can get the specific part of your string within your string let's see the example equal to mid then select the text then comma then the starting position a is at second position then we need add that means three character close the parenthesis then enter so we have add don't worry I will show you that how can you get the gmail from here by knowing the position of at the rate and dot the next one is value what the use of value value is nothing but it will convert the text number to a real number like we have text here 0 1 you can see it's a text 
so sometime you may need to convert your text to a real number equal to value then select the text area close the parenthesis okay now you see it's converted into one for your information if a cell is containing text value then it is left aligned if it's containing number value then it's right aligned now what's the use of this function at the start of the tutorial i told you that i will show you the position of the second one and third one with this function you can know the position of second one third one fourth one fifth one and go on equal to find then character one character substitute then the text then what you want to find we want hyphen then the number of character one then the position which one you want second one third one fourth one fifth one suppose you want the third one so three close the parenthesis press enter so the position of the third one is 14 let's edit it and know the position of number two number two is at 10th position same number one number one is at fifth position let's see how can we get the gmail from this email id to get the gmail at first we need to know the position of at the rate then we need to know the position of dot by knowing those two positions at first by knowing the position of dot we will know the length of this then by knowing the position of at the rate we will know the length that how many characters are between them then we use the meet function to get our string so at first meet then the text then the starting position at the rate position find at the rate comma the text close the parenthesis then plus one why plus one because find will return the position of at the rate but we want to know the position of g that's why plus one comma now how many characters we need in here how many characters we need is unknown to us so we need to find out the length of the character between at the rate and dot already i explained you first find the dot position text then minus the at the rate position find within text now from here we will get the length of gmail character but the gmail character length is 5 but as we know the position of dot it's one character ahead so we need to put minus 1 close the parenthesis then press enter see we have our gmail now if we change it from gmail to whatever you want like xxjjj press enter you see we are getting whatever is between at the rate and the dot so if you guys have any question please comment below and give me a thumbs up and support me by subscription